If you are connected on what is trendy now, you probably saw this name around. Invisible City. That is a new Brazilian Netflix series produced by Carlos Saldanha, the same from the animations Rio and Ice Age. His idea with the series, trying to go for something different than he does, was to explore these amazing and still living folk stories in the modern context, putting these elemental beings in the actual society. Invisible City gives new meaning to Brazilian folklore, mixing characters from north and south and making them coexist in Rio de Janeiro among common people. Help this content to reach more and more people, so please click on the like button and share with everyone you know that might be interested about a different point of view of Brazil. <laughs>
Corpo seco. This is a strong tale from southeast and midwest of Brazil, also famous as Unhudo. Because of his long nails, this entity is about a boy who used to mistreat his parents so much that when he died, he wasn't accepted by heaven or hell, and his soul got stuck on our level on earth. After he was buried, not even the earth wanted his soul and this beat him out of the form of an evil and dangerous creature. Corpo seco exists to say one important message. Treat your parents well. Sassi. The tale of Sassi is the most famous from our folklore. He wears a red cap or headband and has only one leg. Sassi is marked by a boy who loves to prank others. He lives in the forest, confuses hunters, and sometimes he just mocks for fun. Wesley Guimarães is an incredible actor who gives life to Sassi on Invisible City is Isaac, who is always on the streets. Even without a leg, he doesn't jump around like the tale says, but he uses a mechanical leg. Still, according to the tale, there is not only one Sassi, but some, and the most famous one is the Sassi Perere, who wears the red headband and has always a pipe in his mouth. People say that if Sassi has his headband caught, he has to do whatever this person wishes. That's why in the countryside of Brazil there is a myth or even a game to attract Sassi. You leave a cachaça and fubá, a corn flower, in the forest in the order to call Sassi. And this tradition is also represented on the series. Curupira! Curupira is also one of the most famous of our folklore and it's performed by the brilliant actor Fabio Lago with the human name of Iberê. The creature is a mystical being that protects his forests and animals. He has a red hair, feet turned backwards to mess with the hunters and very, very strong. He is also known for taking revenge on humans who want to destroy nature. According to indigenous people, the entity killed who entered the forest to hunt animals and cut down trees. Or he can still choose to leave them just confused to the point of not finding their way back. A cuca! Last but not least, she's also one of the popular names on our folklore because of Monteiro Lobato, a Brazilian writer who is famous from the classic children's literature, O Sítio do Pica-Pau Amarelo. Actually, this tale originated in Portugal and there she is the Coca, a witch or what is called a Bicho Papão who scare kids before they go to bed. It is adapted as a witch with an alligator look like what also comes from the Portuguese myth because there this creature turned into a dragon to scare kids too. Poor kids. In Brazil, there is a famous song that we all know since we were kids. Alessandra Negrini, named Inês, who shows us a more mystical and humanized version of this cuca, expressing herself through butterflies, but not alligators here. These tales have been living in Brazilian's imagination since our childhood. It was, and still is, very common to listen to our mothers, and grandmothers telling these stories passing from generation to generation. 
So if you enjoy this, please click on the like button here and share with your friends and turn the bell on to get notifications of new videos. I see you next time, gringo. Bye bye.